To illustrate the economic application of differential, let us consider the concept of elasticity of a function. For example, we have the demand function Q as a function of P. It is known that the elasticity of demand is the change in the quantity demanded as a response to the change in price, or mathematically, we write it as follow. We can replace the delta P and the delta Q with differential dP and dQ respectively and have the formula as follow. This is the formula of point elasticity of demand and denote, denoted by epsilon d. Uh, this is the symbol for elasticity. Observe that the ratio dQ per dP can be interpreted as the derivative or the marginal function of the demand of this demand function. We can interpret similarly the ratio of Q over P here in the denominator as the average function of the demand function. The point of elasticity epsilon d is seen to be the ratio of the marginal function to the average function of the demand function. This last described relationship is described is valid not only for the demand function but also for any other function because for any given total function y equals to the function of x we can write the formula for the point elasticity of y with respect to x as follow so here this is the derivative of this function and we and is regarded as marginal function and this is the average function of our uh, y as a function x here so for a convention the absolute value of the elasticity measure is used in deciding whether the function is elastic at a particular point and we can stipulate that the function is elastic or unit elasticity or inelastic at a point when the epsilon is greater than 1, it is elastic. If the epsilon yx or the elasticity is equal to 1, then the function is unitly elastic. And if the elasticity is greater, is smaller than 1, then the function is inelastic.